Hi everybody, Sandy Bacus here again. Um, coming back uh, a day earlier because um, I've got a special request for you. Um, I'm going to address that, well, in a minute. Um, first I want to say welcome back everybody. Um, if you stuck with me during the couple of months here where my health has been an, an issue, um, I'm so happy and I'm so glad to see you back. Um, anybody new uh, dropping by, I'm very happy to see you also. Um, okay, that said, um, I'm going to ask for prayers for Olivia. Um, she's not doing well at all. Um, after my last video, I put a little note in the show notes below that I had just heard that um, they had rushed her back to the hospital in Cleveland um, in like a three to four day period. She had been to the hospital three times. Um, they finally kept her. She is, uh, to my knowledge, she's still there. As of last night, she was still there. And this is Thursday, um, just after noon time. And I haven't seen anything to the contrary. So um, she's still at Rainbow Babies and Children's in Cleveland. Um, she had been running a very high fever. Um, she was vomiting uncontrollably. Um, she had diarrhea really, really bad. Um, they, um, like I said, they kept her the last time because she could keep no food down whatsoever. Um, the doctors, as of the last that I heard, which was yesterday, the doctors are not really sure what's happening. At first, they thought that it was tied to her chemo that she had had last Friday. Now they don't think so. Um, her urine did come back abnormal, so they thought that it could be a UTI, but a UTI should not be causing the, the, the severity of symptoms that she has. Um, in addition to that, um, they think that she possibly had a viral, has a viral infection. Um, as most of you know, when um, people, children are undergoing chemotherapy, their immune system is is broken down and um, they can become sick very easily. That's why they have to watch for fevers. Um, but she's not doing well and um, the doctors are kind of at a loss. That's why they're keeping her at the hospital. Um, the poor baby, I'm, I don't want to cry, but the poor baby, her birthday is tomorrow. She was going to be, is going to be eight years old tomorrow. And they don't want her to have to spend her birthday in the hospital. So please send out good thoughts, prayers, um, ask for healing. Ask for her to get well enough so that she can go home and be home on her birthday. Um, I'm asking as many people as I know to pray for her and to send their good thoughts out. And uh, so that's, that's the number one reason why I came to you in this video today. Um, I'm going to do a short update here, uh, but I did want to do that. Okay. Thank you for that. And um, also, I'm going to throw another one out there. My sister-in-law, Lori, has lung cancer. Um, she was diagnosed probably about five and a half years ago. I don't know if I've told you this before. She went through chemo for a long, long time. Then they took her off the chemo and they put her on an immunotherapy, which is also um, an infusion. Um, about a month ago, they told her that the immunotherapy is not working, that her tumors are growing. So they put her back on chemotherapy, a much stronger. Um, it's making her sick. Uh, she didn't lose her hair during the first round, but they said she's going to lose it now. I've not talked to her in, in about a week or so, so I don't 
she said she was starting to feel a little better but uh, please send some good thoughts and prayers for Lori also uh, I'm doing much better um, I feel um, that the greens are helping um, I don't feel as anxious as I did and um, that may have something to do with the uh, adding the greens into my diet it and the new um, whole foods vitamins um, it may also have to do with um, an attitude that I am taking and that is that um, I'm trying not to worry about every little thing um, and uh, so far so good I'm, I'm feeling better um, continuing to get more strength each day um, I think because I was down for so long it's gonna take me a while but we're we're getting there and that's the uh, the whole thing that we need um, I'm sorry about this lighting today it is really 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 hot here in Ohio today um, were in the 80s very high humidity um, we had rain during the night last night they're saying we could get storms this evening possibly violent storms um, we'll wait and we'll see how that goes um, I don't do well with heat and humidity thankfully um, on Monday our neighbor next door and his brother-in-law came over and they put our window air conditioner in Bob used to be able to do that um, we used to do it together sometimes um, neither one of us can do those things anymore for, so thankfully um, our neighbor did uh, come and help us out and so I have my air conditioner going I have a really loose top on it's a little too big for me but it's very comfortable when it's it's hot and humid um, and uh, the sunlight it's like there's clouds and sun out there so the sun gets really really bright and shines in and then the clouds kind of cover up the sun and it gets a little bit dimmer so you're gonna see the the light kind of coming and going okay in the video I did the other day I um, needed to do some thank yous and I was busy talking about the other stuff and for the Parkinson's um, walk and I didn't get to that so if you have donated thank you very much if you're thinking about it please go ahead and do it um, I know that not everybody can and um, I don't expect everybody to do that but if you can great I would appreciate it um, like I said then it we need to find a cure for this disease um, now I did get um, and I showed these on Instagram in a picture but I did get some beautiful get well cards during the time that I wasn't feeling well and also um, someone wrote me out I'm not going to mention any names because I don't have permission but somebody wrote me out a whole sheet here of some soothing scriptures and um, I've read them and I will continue to read them I appreciate the cards also um, someone sent me a beautiful scissors pop and isn't that beautiful I'm gonna try to let me see I've got a cardboard here I'm gonna kind of hold this up and see if that I put it on my scissors can you see that there I think that's just beautiful and whoops and like I said I didn't ask permission to use people's names so I'm not but you know who you are and I thank you from the bottom of my heart beautiful and the other one that I had gotten previously is still up on my board right in front of me where I can see it when I'm stitching and I, I love that one too um, okay I have um, I'm going to show you this this was in the newspaper and uh, this has to do with Olivia and um, 
I think I had told you, oh, I'm sorry, I've got a, everybody itches their nose or their upper lip or something when they're doing floss tube. I, what is up with that? <laughs> Anyways, um, I had told you once, I think, that Olivia's school had done fundraisers and um, the principal had shaved his head in solidarity with Olivia because she lost her hair. Well, here is a picture of a third grade teacher. I don't know if it was her third grade teacher, but they had another um, fundraiser. And this picture is showing him getting his head shaved. And they were just getting ready to go at him there. Um, and I think that's a, a brave move for these teachers. Um, and then here is a picture down here of the principal kissing a goat. That was part of the fundraiser. He, uh, I guess people gave money so that he would kiss a goat. So he was there kissing a goat. And this is a picture over here. This is Olivia and her mom. I'm sorry. That's Olivia with her mother watching the principal kiss the goat and the other teacher get his head shaved. And they're wearing the t-shirts. I don't think you can actually see them, but Olivia designed the design of a husky dog and they had those um, t-shirts printed up and uh, they sold those as uh, part of the fundraiser. And uh, I hope that picture's coming through. She is such a sweetie. And I just feel so bad that she's having to go through this, that any child, that, that anybody has to go through it. But for a child, it, it is, I think it's so much worse. So um, those are my, um, my thank yous for the cards, for the scissors fob. And I did want to show you that picture. Um, then I wanted to show you what I've been stitching. The other thing that I'm doing and to help kind of tamp down my anxiety was before I was stitching on multiple projects during the week because I felt I had to have multiple projects to show you for a floss tube video. Well, I've decided that I'm not going to do that. I'm going to kind of be more, um, just take it easy, stitch on a project, and if I have a reason to move on to something, I will. Or if I get tired of it, I will. So what I did was I told you the other day that um, those birds were calling to me and that I had just put a few stitches into that. And I hope you can see this here. This is my bird pattern. And I had just put in a few stitches on this. This is a magazine pattern. And this week, I worked on my bird and I got one bird completely done and I'm gonna put him up there where you can see him really isn't he cute I think he's the I think those colors are just adorable and I think he's so cute and so because I had him all done with all his back stitch and everything I decided to put this one down for now and I will come back to it in a few weeks. I need this done by September. So I will um, come back and maybe do another bird and then put it away and do the other bird and then decide to do the butterfly or put it away and bring it out later and do the butterfly. Did that make sense? Sometimes I talk and I'm not sure whether I'm making good sense or not, but it is what it is. Okay. So um, I worked on that, and then I kept thinking, okay, what, what do I want to work on now? Well, I kept thinking that I had said that I wanted to get Bayside Cottage completed because Bayside Cottage now has been sitting around for a while, and I haven't, uh, haven't worked on it, and it's one of my older whips now. So I got it out. And I have a ton of threads hanging off of this, and I apologize for that, but I've been working on stitching and back stitching, and so I've kind of got threads. And this has this is from the kit, of course, and it has the I always give myself three inches around, and of course this doesn't have three inches. 
So to get my hoop on it, it's I can only work on small sections at a time. So what I did was I went on here and I'm going to try to explain. Let me put that piece of, what did I do with the piece of cardboard? I'm going to put the cardboard behind this and maybe I can hold it better. Okay, let's go with this. I went on here and I did the back stitching for this little barge here, this boat up here. Um, I start, there was some back stitching in the trees. Then I started the back stitching on these railings and I went up and now I've got the back stitching to do coming down here. And then I also filled in all of this down through here um, and down in this area. And I'm going to continue to work on that and then I'm going to come up and come down this way and I'm trying to make sure that each day that I get I think I've only had it out two days uh, and I'm trying to make sure that I'm back stitching so that I can not be sitting here with a finished project except for back stitching again and I've got those other ones that I have to get out and start back stitching too but what I was thinking is is that um, I do have some projects that don't have any back stitching because they're just full coverage full crosses when I work on those, that's when I'm going to try to uh, work on the back stitching for those other ones. All right, now the other thing that I wanted to do today is I want to give away some magazine charts. And I brought them down. Now I just have to figure out, I hope I brought them down. I picked them up and had them in my hand. And I hope I didn't set them down somewhere else. Nope, here they are. I'm not a total loss. Okay, I haven't really looked at these. I just grabbed them, so I'll try to uh, see what we've got here. Okay, this one is called Life's a Zoo, and it is done on a t-shirt. Isn't it cute? I love that giraffe. I thought about stitching that myself on... Uh, some fabric because I thought it was kind of cute but um, I uh, have too many projects already so anyways there's life's a zoo and also on the back of here there are a few little um, charts the charts are down here for um, just these little like border things yeah kind of cute um, so if you are interested in this one just tell me that you would like to stitch life's a zoo or the zoo that'll work too okay the next one that i have oh and before i go on um since i haven't done charts for a while i should um tell you the the rules and regulate well they're not really rules but how i do this um these i will send anywhere in the world um, I send them in, in a number 10 business envelope so I will fold them into thirds they are all tore out of magazines um, fold them into thirds you need to be a subscriber um, you don't have to like my video or anything like that just be a subscriber and um, do not please do not say free or giveaway uh, don't use any of the words that will pull the trolls in. Um, so just say you'd like to stitch whatever verbiage I use. And that, I think, handles it. All right, this one is, uh, there's two here. Uh, one on that page and one on that page. And then there's, so if you can see those, I'll put this one up here this one says enter and this one down here says welcome I think that's kind of pretty and I know I'm wiggling around I'm sorry I'm trying to hold it steady but there it is and on the back of that there's also these little magnets um, like into their teacher things whatever 
Um, if you are, these are called Victorian greetings. So if you're interested in these, say you'd like to stitch Victorian greetings, and I will get those out to you. And I hope the sound's okay. I know that air conditioner's running. Okay, who is my person who likes angels? I remember that there's somebody who loves angels. Um, I have some more here. Might even be similar to the ones that I had already sent you. Um, these are guardian angels. So there's that. And on the back of this, there is an, an Irish proverb. And the chart is down below. And it says, if it's drowning you're after, don't torment yourself with shallow water. So <laughs> that'll all come together. So if you're interested in this one, please tell me you'd like to stitch Guardian Angels. Okay, I'm going to hurry you here because I see I'm passing 20 minutes and I wanted to keep this short. The next one, these are Christmas. This is the Mouse Family. These are ho lovable holiday friends. Little ornaments. And I hope that I'm getting those in so that and they're focusing. And let's see. Uh, the charts for those are there. I think that's all of it. All right. So if you are interested in that, tell me you'd like to stitch the mouse family. And the next one is Halloween. Getting a little bit of everything in here. Um, this one is the haunted house. Well, that one up there. Isn't that cute? I love the ghost coming out of the chimney and the little cat on the top of the house and the bats flying around and the tombstones and just a little bit of everything. Really cute. And uh, let's see if there's anything else attached with this. Um, yeah, there is. Um, there is this little, little house with the flowers. That looks very similar to some projects that I've seen people stitching that have some stuff in the middle and the flowers on the sides. Um, and the chart is there for that. And then, what else? oh, here's another one. So you're going to get a bonanza on this one. Um, this one is uh, teachers are special and the light just went again. So I hope you're going to be able to see it. I think that focused in there and then the chart for that one so um, they're all kind of attached together because they're on the back so if you are interested in all of these charts just tell me you want to stitch Halloween or the haunted house either one I will know which one that is okay those are the ones that I have for this week so um, I told you how to get them, and I think that's it. Um, I'm going to continue now to work on Bayside Cottage. Um, I don't know whether I'll get that finished on this go-round, um, but I'm going to get as much of it done as I can. And But if I get bored with it, it is 18 count. So if it starts bothering my eyes or I get bored with it, then I will pull out something else and work on it. Do you believe that today is May 31st? I can't. I know that I wasn't feeling good for a long time there, but I just can't believe spring is gone. And tomorrow, to me, June 1st starts summer. So kids will be getting out of school. And it's just, I don't know, where did it go? But anyways, um, as I said, please send those prayers out for Olivia. Um, I appreciate it. 
if you um, if you decide that you'd like to go back to my previous video and donate um, I noticed that YouTube took the web address that I put in there for mine and made it a link but on Bob's which was underneath mine they put the top part as a link but that link takes you to a moving day for I think it was San Francisco because they didn't include his participant number which is underneath so um, with his what you would have to do is copy and paste it and you can also do that with mine I tried that that works so I just thought I'd let you guys know that that uh, you can just highlight click right click copy and then go to your web browser and paste it in um, so that's it I'm at 25 so I'm gonna get off of here so I will see you again um, sometime next week uh, could be sooner could be later I'll keep you guys guessing so take care love and hugs to everybody bye